All right, this is my uh, wainscoting tutorial. Uh, this is uh, the way that I in like to uh, draw my wainscoting. It's uh, similar to how I build it, and it's easier for me to uh, to put the pieces together. Um, so the first thing we need to check is model info from the window menu, and we need to change format from architectural to fractional. And we got uh, precision is set at a sixteenth inch. That's perfect. Close this. Next thing we want to do that I like to do is uh, turn the perspective to off. And we want to select Mr. Sang here and get rid of him. And we're going to click on the front view. Okay. I pulled the measurement from the job today. We had a 123 inch wall. So I'm going to draw a bottom rail at 3.5 by 123. So. We're going to type in 123, comma, 3, space, 1, slash, half. Okay, so that's going to give me my bottom rail. Now, uh, what I need to do next is make a copy of this and move it up. So you take the Move tool, drag it for copy, and I'm going to put it at the top height of 42 inches is what we have on the job. That's going to move this up to 42 inches. What I want to do next is right click on this and make this a group. And we're going to select this bottom rail. And we want to factor in our baseboard. So we're going to click on this edge right here. And we're going to move up five and a half inches. So we type in five space one slash half. That's going to give me my uh, three and a half inch reveal that I like to have all the way around. Okay, so we want to make this a group. You can do components if you like. Doesn't really matter for this one. We'll just do a group. We'll get to the components here in a minute. The next thing here is we want to draw um, our end style. And so I'm just going to use inferencing here and type. I'm just going to type in three space one half. Uh, so we can get a three and a half inch rail and we want to drag this with the move tool drag this down to the edge and what I want to do next here is right click and make this a component and we'll type in here this will be style and we'll just hit create okay now comes kind of a fun part. This this is where you can get uh, pull your measurements from next. So what we do is we want to take the move tool and we want to make what's called an inward ar array. So we want to drag a copy and hit the control key and it and put it just down on the other end here. Now without really doing anything else, we want to divide this uh, with an inward array. And the way we do that is I want to type in a number of how many panel spaces that I think that I'm going to have, followed by forward slash, and then hit enter. So let's just start with, uh, let's say, six forward slash, and that gives me six spaces here. And that looks kind of good. I think on the job, let's look at five. Type in five. And that looks pretty good, too. Let's go with five for now. And uh, this gets you um, all set up. So what you could do is, you know, pull your measurement here, 21 and a 16th. You could take that to the job and use that. Uh, works out pretty great. Now we want to take the camera and turn perspective back on. And we want to push pull. Use out three quarters. So we'll just push pull that out, three slash quarter inch. All right, we want to select this. You can take the push pull and s oh, I double clicked on it, went the wrong way. So here we go, three slash quarter. And then what we want to do is pull these out as well. Push pull. All right, so now we got that. Now, in paint grade material, which this project is, um, we don't want to see all these lines right here. So these are the, where the joinery is. If it were stain grade, um, I would leave this joinery. 
uh, for the customer uh, to see that you know that's you're going to see joinery. Um, so the easiest way to get the joinery off and still keep this all together as separate groups and components, I found, is just to click on it, double click, um, click just the edge there, and then right click and hit hide. And we'll do that up here, double click, and just click the edge and go to hide. Okay, orbit around here a little bit. Okay, now this, we need to hide this line. As you can see, it's a component, so it did all of these other ones. And no, just click the line. All right, hide. Okay, let's see what we got. Now it looks pretty good. So that gives you your face frames. Um, we're next, uh, I'm going to end this video and I'll make another little video and show you the cool way to do panel molding.